channel. It is Saturday morning currently and Matt and I are in the car on the way to his haircut. And I thought that I would vlog this weekend because originally I had some really fun stuff planned but because of the COVID-19 thing, a lot of stuff is getting canceled. So we were gonna go to the flea market after his haircut um, but it doesn't look like that's on anymore, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but we're still gonna go do other fun stuff so I thought I would vlog anyway. And then I'll use the footage if it's interesting, and if it's not, I won't. <laughs> finished his haircut he looks very cute <laughs> and now we are at Anko um, because I think they have accordion shelf things um, like the one that I want um, and I would have preferred to support a small business but I need it for a photo project that I'm working on um, so I will support in other ways um, but yeah so we're gonna go and check out Anko maybe Trader Joe's the plant store <laughs> How cute is all this speckled bakeware? This is the biggest, coolest Trader Joe's ever, and I'm obsessed with it. I'll do a little haul when we get home. I found a little string of hearts. I've been looking for one of these for so long, but they're usually so expensive. And this is only $8.99. We got ourselves some Starbucks. What'd you get? I got a cappuccino. I got an almond milk honey flat white decaf. Days like these when we run errands reminds me of Greece. I like just walking out of the market. So I think that's why I like to get cappuccinos. So it makes fun. me think of it. That was so much fun. I gotta edit. I actually have a ton of footage from our honeymoon in Greece that I just never edited. Now it feels like it's too late, but I should just do it. No, you should totally do it. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to Joanne now to hopefully pick up some fabric so I can do some little like sewing projects this week while I'm stuck in tie. Sorry, I was thinking about puns. <laughs> she come up with a good one? I was gonna say, you could put emergency in this and it'll be a quarantino. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I was looking for. It's called bubble gauze, apparently. I'm gonna try to use it to make some bibs and burp cloths and swaddles and stuff. Oh my gosh, how cute are all these little scrunchy hair scarves at Joann's. <laughs> okay, so we're back from the store and I thought I'd show you guys what we got. Um, Jack in the box, which I'm gonna hand off to Matt because he's very yes. hungry. It's like three o'clock. It took us a really long time. We went to a lot of places. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess I'll start with the Trader Joe's stuff because there's frozen stuff in here that needs attention. So I got a couple boxes of the reduced guilt mac and cheese, which shouldn't sound like that. Um, <laughs> I got Thai tea mini mochi beef tamales. Oh, Thai tea. <laughs> no, not Thai tea. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put these in the freezer because they're a little warm. And then I also picked up just a few grocery staples. We're not going crazy. This is not the apocalypse. Um, but just stuff I buy every week. Um, actually, these I've never gotten before. These are cinnamon apple snack sticks. And Matt pointed them out at checkout and they look really good. Bananas for smoothies. I've been loving banana, peanut butter, cocoa powder, and almond milk smoothies like pretty much every morning. So I got more of those so I could freeze them. And then, what are you doing? <laughs> I love you. I got a bunch of chocolate raspberry RX bars because chocolate raspberry is like my favorite flavor combo ever. And then some chamomile flowers. These are my favorite flowers. They're only $4 and they last for like a week and a half. Um, my current ones are looking a little sad. Living it away as I go so I don't get too then from Anko, I got this accordion 
peg shelf thing. This was only $9, which is great. And then I got two plant pots. The first one is just white with like a cork bottom. This was $6. And then I got this one, which I think is so cool. Like the style of it is really awesome. And this was $7. So I got these, I mean this one at least, it's a really big plant pot. And I was gonna try to get like some bigger plants to go in them for the nursery. But then we went to the plant store and you probably saw this. Um, but I found a little baby string of hearts, which I'm so, so excited about. Um, so this was $8.99, which is so good for a string of hearts because they're normally really expensive. Um, and then I also found the sensitive plant, um, which is like, it's been on my plant bucket list for so long. Um, it's really cool because if you touch it, it like, I'll show you. There we go. So if you like, it closes up. It's so freaking cool. Here's your joke about human intimacy. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. And then lastly, we went to Joanne's um, because I wanted to stock up on project supplies since I'm gonna kind of try to stay home as much as I can for the next couple of weeks. Um, so I got three different colors of this bubble gauze is what it was called. I got this like sea foam color, this like army green color and then this really sweet pastel rainbow um, i'm going to use these to make bibs and burp cloths and i'm going to try to make like a little romper out of this one too i got some iron-on letters for um decorating onesies and doing like a t-shirt sorry that's being extremely loud <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i spent a lot of money today but this is for like the next two weeks, right? Right, right. Um, I'm really hungry too, so I'm gonna go eat. Uh, and then I think I have some packages to pick up from the office and we're gonna put some stuff around the nursery and get going. I'm so excited. It's been such a happy day. It was such a happy day of errands. Okay, I'm gonna go eat, bye. Got in my comfy cozies. And now we're on a little walk to get our packages. Mail time. Mail time. So in the mail that we just got, are some little baby things that I ordered from H&M. I got these cute little mustard colored shorts and then this little pack of hats. This one has rainbows and this one's just ribbed and mustard. Apparently I was really into the mustard because I also got him this mustard sun hat. And then I got a little pack of socks, mostly just because I had extra money on my gift card. <laughs> and then these super cute little gauze shorts. These look red on camera but they're more brown so cute okay and then what do you think would be the best way to make sure they're like, should I have you kind of eyeball it for me hold on check out my fresh fade <laughs> doing anything too exciting for the rest of the night um so i'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll do some little baby diys and hang out see you then life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights Happy Sunday. I guess I shouldn't technically say morning because it is afternoon. We had a pretty chill morning. We slept in and then we took care of a bunch of chores. So Matt did the bunny litter trays, which is always an undertaking, and swept the floors and we put away a bunch of laundry. Um, and we took out all the trash and recycling and yeah. Um, but we are about to take the 25 week bump picture. So I thought I would show you guys how we do that because we do it every weekend. It's part of our little routine. So I always wear the same outfit every time. So I have that laid out. It's this little bralette from Madewell and then these gray high-waisted leggings from Aerie. And then I always use this little letter board as a prop. I've got to dig around in here and see if I can find my five so I can change it. All ready to go, and then we just move everything and shoot it over here. Right. 
falling down. The app we use is called Cinemama, and I like it because it like helps you position so you're in the same spot every time. Um, but it does take really low quality photos, so we usually um, take one in here and then go to the camera app and take one there. Okay, so we're about to do all the baby laundry. But I'm feeling snacky, so I thought I'd do a taste test of the chocolate raspberry RX bar that I got yesterday at Trader Joe's. This is what she looks like. See the almonds in there? I like it. It tastes exactly how I thought it would taste. She likes it. Hey, Mikey! So we're just doing all of the baby laundry. Honestly, I hope this isn't boring. We're just like not doing that much today because <laughs> the whole social distancing thing. Um, but I'm gonna do a cute little DIY mama and me onesie t-shirt set as soon as the stuff that's in the dryer is out. So hopefully that'll be fun. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? <laughs> Okay, so while we're waiting for the laundry to be done, I thought I would make some scones because baking makes me happy and staying indoors like this does not make me happy. So I'm gonna make some chocolate chip scones. Um, I have some heavy cream that needs to get used up. Um, so I thought those would be perfect. I'll link the recipe down below. Um, if you guys wanna make the same ones, I'll tell you if they turn out good. Let's see, what do I need? Flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, cream, chocolate chips, butter. Easy, easy peasy. See, I kinda need to move you guys so you can see me. There we go, that works. The first thing that I'm gonna do is um, see how much heavy cream I actually have because this calls for one and a quarter cup and I don't think that I have that much so I'm probably gonna have to um, take the recipe down to like a fraction and just make fewer scones. Oh! Oh, almost, we're so close. You know what, I think that's enough. That's enough to make the full recipe. It's so close. I'll like take out a tablespoon of flour. <laughs> I was not kidding when I used this in my best thrift finds video. It's like my favorite ever. I use it all the time. Does anybody else do that thing where you don't have the correct measuring thing clean so you just like make it out of smaller ones? Like I only have the half cup. Clean, so I'm just gonna do four half cups. I'm not very like meticulous with my measurements either. It's a good thing I'm doing scones because I don't actually have that much sugar left. It's weird, normally I have Alice and Biggerstaff's Saturday playlist on when I bake, but I wanna be able to talk to you guys and not get demonetized. So it's just eerily quiet in here. These are like the easiest scones ever. This is literally gonna take me like five minutes. What am I doing? Pregnancy brain. Very real. I need to reposition you guys so that my head's not cut off. Are you okay? Yep. My camera's okay too. Best part of baking. Notice how all recipes call for a lightly floured surface. I don't think I've ever seen a recipe that calls for a heavily floured surface. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh, hello. Look, can I make you something? Oh, this looks yummy. You said you wanted to. Can make I just eat the butter? No. This looks super yummy. Don't tell me what it is. Okay. I'm afraid oh. if I don't tell you, you'll be disappointed because it's not cookies. That's I, baby. I will never be disappointed in anything that you make. Oh, Especially is. our son. No. Oh. <laughs> so I use these silicone baking mats um, because it's way cheaper than like buying a bunch of parchment paper or foil and it's also more sustainable so I got mine at Target I'll link them if you want okay this is what they look like all ready to go into the oven have fun little guys and I think I just heard the dryer stop too so I'm gonna clean this up and then we can do our little DIY look at all the cute little baby clothes I want to show you guys a few of my favorite pieces we got this swaddle in Hawaii on our baby moon and it's so cute. It's by the brand Pear, I think is how you pronounce it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you first of all should go follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I would love to have you over there. Um, but I posted about this super cute little set 
that Solly baby sent over. This is the cutest little newborn set. This might be his coming home from the hospital outfit depending on how hot it is, but it's so cute. And they sent over one of their like baby wearing wraps too, which I've actually already tried out with a teddy bear and it's so comfy and I can't wait to snuggle him in it. The scones are already done. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh, look at that beauty. Gun taste test. Mm. Oh, they're super light and fluffy, and they're not dry at all. That is so good. Okay, go make this recipe. So quick, so easy. Barely any ingredients. Holy crap! Hi. <laughs> so this is our setup for the little DIY that we're gonna do. Got my iron turned on. And these are the letters that I'm using. So I'll pop my inspiration pictures up so you guys can see what I'm going for. But basically we're making little like mommy and me baby bird and mama bird t-shirts. Um, and these are just iron on and I got them from Joann's. So I'll link them below if I can find them. And then I got this white t-shirt for $5 at Target. And then this is just like a basic white Gerber onesie. I think I'm gonna try to do the onesie first. All right, we had a small snafu because I attached the Aeon the wrong way because the piece that I cut out was a triangle. And when I put it down, I didn't check which way. So I'm gonna do it again. All right, second time's the charms. This is how they came out. I think they're so cute. I really, really like them. I always pictured matching my daughter so when i found out that we were having a boy i was like bummed because i was like oh matching dresses and like bows and stuff um but this is a great way to still be able to match him and it'll be super cute i think i want to make a couple other different kinds um like i saw one that had honey on the mom shirt and then the little baby said honey bee which i thought was really cute um but yeah a good first experiment even though i'm kind of mad at myself for wasting one of my onesies Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for the vlog. I'm just gonna go ahead and close it out here because I'm not doing anything exciting for the rest of the night, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of a chill errands and then stay at home so that I don't get or pass on COVID-19 <laughs> kind of a vlog. I love you guys so much. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Um, since all of this craziness is going on and I know a lot of us are stuck at home. I'm gonna go up to two videos a week instead of one video a week, um, just because it'll give me something to focus on. Hopefully it'll give you guys something fun to watch. So please let me know what your video suggestions are in the comments because I'm gonna need a lot of ideas. I hope you guys have the best rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.